guess you thought you guys thought I was playing. <laughs> no, we're covering every single Upchurch song that he's made, man. Or at least we're gonna try. We're gonna make the strong attempt to, man. Um, today we're gonna actually be going um, and looking at this song, man, that he made a while back called "Bo Dak Yellow." Obviously, it's the remix and stuff. Uh, he put his own spin on it, so I'm actually kind of curious to see how lit this is gonna be. If you guys have not already, make sure you like comment subscribe turn your post notifications and for all my subscribers that are looking at me cross-eyed as to who up church is up church is that dude bro he used to be like i mean he's still a comedian i would say but he used to be like a kind of comedian um comedic dude that would make skits and pranks and stuff like that on youtube but then he kind of turned a new leaf and well not even a new leaf he just kind of added to his talents and you know started rapping and and singing and a whole bunch of variety of different genres and the music scene and he's char charted on the billboard top 100 i think over 59 times or whatever but he's a pretty 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 big dude um as far as fame goes so very awesome also shout out to ryan upchurch for the comment man i appreciate that it's it's always good to get you know recognition from people who who are at the top and stuff it, it's awesome it's a it's an it's an awesome feeling man it's an awesome feeling but anyways let's go ahead and get into this video and see exactly what we're working with all right let's get into it oh oh my god let me get oh, here you go Ooh. Look, I ain't your motherfucking daddy. Quit coming to me crying because you ain't the mad at me. Y'all know I'm in the top, but I ain't the damn president. I make my own songs and my own damn president. Hey, that's facts. He, yo, what I, what I, I, I said in a lot of the videos and stuff, man, um, that I've reacted to already from uh, of up church bro like the fact that he can make songs so fast is impressive it is impressive writing is such a crazy thing man like people really take take that for granted they're like oh man like, anybody can do it i'm like no not a lot of people can do that a lot of people have ghost writers bro they have ghost writers they pay people to write songs for them then they spend like hours and hours and hours those hours in the studio you guys hear people talking about are basically them trying to get the lyrics that were written for them to fit when they're rapping um, now, a lot of the artists that write for themselves and stuff like that, you know, shout out to them and definitely shout out to this dude because they be putting in the work, man, and the work in the front lines, honestly, writing all that stuff and, and everything. It's dope. And it keeps the fans like, you know, on their toes. They're like, damn, man, this shit goes hard because a lot of his stuff goes hard, bro. Oh, oh. Yeah, he's like, yo, a country rapper's looking at me sideways like, what? what is this man doing, man? What, what is he doing, man? <laughs> no, that's crazy. It's dope. He's like the, like the, I feel like, in a sense... He would be like a couple people that I know in the in the in the, on the scene and stuff as far as people who are multi talented and whatnot because people are looking at him like and some people might think man like you might as well just stick to one genre of music but I'm like nah dude reach out in every direction bro because it's working for him and that I think that's why his fan base is so widespread like the age group can range between like. 14 and the highest maybe 60 70 man like he can hit all age ranges because of all the different genres of music the style of music the style of uh music that he's you know he's doing and everything because he, he, he can do a whole bunch of different styles and then on top of that too it's what he's saying like the, the, like what he communicates through his songs aren't just random words bro like it's it's so, some of it's really funny and some of it's really meaningful man so it's crazy i like that shit Oh, yo, <laughs> schooling all y'all like I'm your principal. Hey, that's facts. Okay. Oh. <laughs> hey, Ciroc is wild, man. Listen, I, I honestly, I ain't gonna lie, man. I, I used to not fuck with Ciroc at all. Like, literally at all. That's not even my real go-to drink, to be honest. Like, if I were to drink, I don't really drink at all. But when I do drink, 
um, very, 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 very rarely, it's not no Ciroc. I ain't gonna hold you. I mean, like, I, I used to hate Ciroc. Now, I don't hate it, but I'm just like, hmm. If I'm drinking, I want to feel something. So, 151 it is. <laughs> Hell yeah. Mm. Oh, he said, I'll throw you in that muddy river with a catfish swarm. See how I didn't say monkey river this time? I'm sorry, man. I wasn't listening. In the first song I reacted to from Up Church, I, I thought he said monkey pond, but he said mucky pond. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> my man. <laughs> Honest mistake. But yo, this is dope, man. I fuck with this. He's killing the beat, man. Oh! Hey, that's f yo. That's what everybody's been doing lately, man. Have you seen how many exposed videos everybody's been making lately, bro? Literally every day I hop on YouTube, it's another exposed video, bro. Another exposed video. 45 minutes long, somebody's feelings got hurt, and they had to make a video exposing all the little private DMs, this, that, the third. It's annoying, man. I'm just like, bro, let it go. Like, nobody gives a fuck. But apparently, people give it enough of a fuck to look at, to, like, you know, make live subscriber count cha uh, channels and everything after the exposed videos drop and stuff, man. It's just so whack. I'm like, is this the new trend? It's just exposing your close friends, bro? That ain't right, man. But he's speaking volumes here, man. People out here just doing like anything, man. Anything, bruh. Some damn clout. Hey, he's he made up here and a really good point. He doesn't want beef with anybody, but if you if you about that life, he's not gonna take shit back. He's gonna go in balls deep. But look at exactly what happened with the screw face and up to your situation. Upshur said, listen, man, I wasn't talking shit about you, but I'm not gonna take back what the fuck I said because we are here to do this rap battle thing. I'ma give this to you. I'ma shut your shit down and I'ma send you packing. That's it. Straight up. Like, I'm not taking nothing back. We're just going to roll with this. And he did exactly what he said he was going to do. Granted, the first track was like, me, you know what I mean? But the second track was like, damn, all right. He came back with some fire, man. Like, dude came back with a flamethrower. First, he had a little 22 for his first, you know, diss track back there, response diss track. And then, you know, I feel like it was like, those are like warning shots. It's like, hey, man, y'all, you don't want it, man. You don't want it. Then he came out with that push of T, bro. Came with that push of T. Oh, he, 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 he came with that heat, man. And then. You know, Screwface started acting right real quick. <laughs> real quick. That's wild. I'm not sure if he ever apologized for making that statement. Um, the the statement that he said he said that Up Church was racist when I know he clearly is not. He, I mean, clearly he is not. But um, I wonder if Screw ever apologized for that. I mean, I know he live streamed. He said a lot of stuff. But I know one of the Creeks, one of the people from Creek Squawk, let me know in the comments down below, man, because I'm pretty sure y'all were like on the live stream. When he went live the same day the Joe Meteorite track dropped. <laughs> that was crazy, man. That was like his most popping live stream, too. He had like like 1.5K viewers. That shit was wild, bro. Oh! Oh, he said, bro, if you're going to rap battle against me, you better sign a fucking waiver, G. Like, feelings getting hurt out here, man. Feelings getting hurt out here, dog. Like, <laughs> they're not playing any kind of games, man. Upchurch is with the shits, man. He's with the shits. That's crazy. Did you hear that, y'all? Y'all, y'all heard that, right? Hey, for the people out there clout chasing and getting in everybody else's shit, let me let me replay that one little segment for y'all in case you didn't hear it. Hold on. Right here. Yup. Uh huh. Mhm. Mm that is facts. 
Preach. Yo, that's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, my God. More people need to... Man, y'all hear that? That's facts. That's a factual statement. And I wish people actually embodied that. But they don't. And that is exactly why we have internet trolls. So, um, all that to say, man, dude, obviously he... We got to check out more of his music, man. We got to check out more of his music. I'm telling you, the, the heat's turning up, man. The heat's turning up. It's getting, it's getting kind of hot in here, man. He was dropping fire tracks and shit. These are tracks he already dropped. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm like jumping like I'm nose diving in all, in all this music right now, man. That's crazy. He's a, he's his redheads. These are working boots. Hell no, that's funny as hell. Hey. Oh yeah. <laughs> These is redhead. These are working boots, man. That was raw as hell, man. I like that shit. Bodak Yellow by Upchurch. The remix was tough. That, I like that. Um, comment some more songs you want me to check out in the comments down below. I'm gonna probably make a playlist on this channel for Upchurch reactions, just exclusively Upchurch reactions, and go through all, all of his songs, bro. All of his songs. I mean, obviously, I'm still gonna react to other music and everything too, but. We on a mission now. We on a mission. Just like the Eminem reactions, we bringing this, the, them in here too, man. I'm trying to react to every Eminem song ever, including features. And that's going to be a journey in itself. Since I'm trying to get 2,000 videos on my channel by the end of this year, that is the fastest way to do that shit. So enjoy the journey, y'all. Let's get it on and pop it. If you guys got any kind of questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments. And uh, it's been awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. If we have acquired a few new subscribers from this video, welcome to the Bray Gang. You guys are a part of a loving community where we kick back, relax, crack some beers open, and just kick it, man. Like, we just kick it. We'll go over some music and everything and just random shit, man. Just random shit. You know, we, we out here just, just trying to have a good time and shit. So, um, anyways, I'll talk to y'all later. Take care. Peace.